write your bedtime song. So I've got this set up for my beanbag shots a little bit later with this. So um, I'm just going to put a protective layer on here and then a cream one on top of it. So these are from Shoot Baby, these protective layers, but a lot of people use puppy pee pads or something. You can use whatever you want. I just want to protect that so the water doesn't get through if the baby has an accident. So just got a cream one. This is just a cheapie from Ikea. It doesn't really matter. It won't show. It's just to stop any black or dark colours showing through the roving. So we just make a nice well in the middle for the baby to sort of curl up in. Um, this is a bean bag. This is a shoot baby bean bag. Um, this is actually a suede one, so it's not quite as giving as the other ones, but it still does a really good job. Okay. So these are the roving bats. These ones are from Chino Creations, and. They're very, very delicate, but photograph beautifully. Okay. This is it brand new. It sort of comes apart like this, and I might get a close-up shot for you in a sec. Do you want to just bring the camera in a bit closer and get a close-up shot? So this is the roving. You can see it's really, really fine. This is a, a fine um, bat of roving. You can actually buy them that are a bit thicker, but I like the thin ones for this type of shot because it looks really, really delicate. So it comes in one long big piece, but we're actually going to cut it um, and get it. So sometimes they come and they get little tiny holes in them or something, but it's fine because in Photoshop you can touch it up a little bit. So this is the bit that's going to be behind the baby's head and I'm just going to cut it. just get my piece ready to lay it over the baby when the baby's in position. So always make sure the neater piece of roving is going to be the one that you're going to put on top. So sometimes there'll be better pieces and messier pieces in a bat. Like that one you can see is really quite thin in this section here so I might use that as the underneath one. Okay so I've just fully unwrapped it. I'm really happy with this piece, it's nice and there's no holes in it or anything, so that's going to be the bit on top. So the baby's head is going to sit here and the body there. Now in terms of lighting when I do this shot, I like to turn it so that um, it's about 45 degrees, so I'm going to get a nice um, fall across the baby's face in a diagonal like that, so that it's not up lighting from the bottom and it's not going to um, completely down light and lose all of the baby's feature. Okay. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to use a little bonnet from Chino Creations, which matches quite nicely. Um, she sells little sets that come with either wraps and pants with the hats and the tiebacks that all match. I love them because I sort of mix and match them in the studio. Um, these ones, I quite like to use the bonnet and then put the tieback over the top and it sort of girlies up the bonnet. So we're going to use that today when the baby gets here. Yeah.